Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. The policy fight for non-discrimination of internet content, what's termed net neutrality, has reached a fever pitch in 2014. Here's a segment telling us more about the issue and on recent developments in this fight. The idea behind net neutrality is to have a, a neutral platform for all internet providers and consumers um, where people can produce content and other people can consume it um, without fear or favor by um, the connecting forces that serve between them, the internet service providers as they're called, or ISPs. They want to basically turn the internet into their own private money pump. And so what they want to do is basically craft policies um, at the government level, and particularly at the Federal Communications Commission, to basically allow them to do that. And they've been pushing for this pretty hard and with some success um, in recent years. And the fight over this is what we're terming the net neutrality wars that have been going on, well, with long antecedents, but in particular the focus on the last eight years and with a really concentrated effort um, in the last uh, 12 months. There's been a lot of fighting over this back and forth. The most recent um, uh, fights have basically been on the policy level where the docket of the um, new crafting of this policy has drawn in more than 3.7 million people um, of comments. And so a lot of people have been commenting on this and the overwhelming majority of those have been calling for the, this gets where it gets technical, but basically for a policy to basically enshrine the internet as a free and open medium. To use a little bit of technical verbiage, that means that we're basically reclassifying the internet into a Title II telecommunication service. What that means is that the internet is basically to be seen as a common carriage provision where internet service providers are to basically serve as the connecting glue between consumers and producers and are not to basically um, play favorites or to extract onerous fees for their own benefit um, or to block anything that they don't like. So that's what people have been pushing for. The Federal Communications Commission um, in late October, early November 2014, um, word had leaked that the FCC was planning to basically um, create what was called as a hybrid policy where they were basically going to turn half of the internet, the kind of backbone internet, basically turn that into common carriage and basically turn the front facing as it's termed um, internet. That would basically be allowed for um, in, in the kind of um, cowboy free reign, corporations can do whatever they want realm. Um, and this uh, actually irked everyone on both sides of the debate, not only the public interest realm who were afraid that um, this was going to lead to a slippery slope where the corporations were basically going to run roughshod across the entire internet, but also the corporations were upset because um, they wanted it all and they were not getting it from this plan. So the compromise actually wound up satisfying absolutely no one. Um, in the wake of this, just days after the word of this was leaked, um, activists and community groups in cities across the United States had organized rallies um, in city after city, including here in Chicago. This is in response to the recent media leak of the FCC's most recent rendition for uh, net neutrality laws, which we feel doesn't properly address true net neutrality issues. So we're here to support reclassification of the internet as a telecommunications provider. Days after that, and in the wake of the 2014 um, uh, elections, the midterm elections, where the Democrats were basically um, uh, basically lost in waves and droves, um, including in a lot of close elections, um, President Obama um, released a statement where he very forcefully called for net neutrality and specifically called for a strong Title II reclassification of the Internet to help to preserve the kind of public service, public interest um, uh, utility that the Internet has grown into and where, where um, a million voices and consumers have flourished. To put these protections in place, I'm asking the FCC to reclassify Internet service under Title II of a law known as the Telecommunications Act. In plain English, I'm asking them to recognize that for most Americans, the Internet has become an essential part of everyday communication and everyday life. Uh, and that has, gone, that has been a big boost for um, the uh, forces of good in this fight. 
Um, in particular, because not only is the uh, president's voice very influential, I mean, Tom Wheeler, as well as actually all of the other commissioners who sit on the FCC, were appointed by um, the uh, uh, were appointed by President Obama, and were, uh, basically do heed um, very strong recommendations on that score. Um, but also the fact that the FCC is actually looking to act and basically has been kind of looking for an out in this respect. Mm -hmm. And odds are, from what we've heard from FCC staff, that the commission probably won't vote on this until after the 2014 calendar year, probably sometime early in 2015. There's a concern that people have vo voiced, and reasonably so, that the um, this movement to help to enshrine a neutral internet has been, um, especially with the statement that President Obama released, which has really given a boost to these efforts, um, there's a fear that those words are basically hollow, a hollow gesture from a lame duck president um, who might well not even get his policy recommendation enshrined. Or even if he does, that it might actually be reversed by a right-wing Congress that's opposed to network neutrality. To be fair, these are all legitimate concerns and legitimate threats. Um, the way to address that would be to keep the pressure on, to echo the president's concerns so that he doesn't buckle under the pressure that no doubt he would face, um, to continue to uh, encourage the FCC to make the right call. So I would basically encourage people to get, get involved and to keep that pressure up and to um, uh, understand that there are concerns, but to also understand that those can be overcome and to work to um, achieve that and to take, take us all the way to victory. Thank you.